Jansen. I'm recording a video talking about uh, the RHR channel. You have anything to add? Uh, yeah, uh, I hate it with every fiber of my being. Uh, if you are subscribed to this channel, I hate you. I will f and I will f kill you. If you've even so much as glanced at this and derived any sort of pleasure, I'm going to f your mama. Okay. Should I say welcome to the RHR channel? I don't know if that's a detail to get hung up on. Detailed Galaga bot? What? Hey guys, welcome back to the RHR channel. It's been a year. If you're new though, hi, this is a new channel. It's, don't worry about the old stuff here. This is brand new, I promise. Don't even, you don't have to watch the rest of this video. Totally new channel, move on with your life. I'm Dan, Danny, whichever is preferred. I used to look like this two years ago. Oh my God. Now I know what you're thinking. Hey, your room's fucking scary and don't, just don't fucking look at it. Just, this is you and me right now. We're talking to each other. This is a conversation. And if it, stop fucking looking at it. Don't, don't even, don't look at it. I don't want any shifting eyes. I'm talking to you. My eyes are right here. Uh, but seriously, what is this video? The state of the RHR channel in 2022, which I have promptly decided to name this video. Well, it's an open letter of where we've been. It's an apology video. It's kind of like a talk with your parents. Like, hey, I'm your mom. I know it's hard, but we're gonna get through this. It's gonna be tough, but I promise. One day it'll 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 get better. I thought it's a new year. We haven't uploaded in a year, so I'll just reboot, talk about the old, talk about the new, kind of give some background, I guess, some history, little keeping up with us kind of thing. I don't know. We'll feel it out as we go along. We will get to the present and current state of this whole thing real soon. I just I I need to talk for a little bit. So Anson Seb and I are best friends the best friends ever since elementary school i knew these guys uh but we kind of became better friends in middle school that's beside the point in high school fast forward i moved away uh but we always kind of had this plan for a youtube channel together so 2017 five years ago seb anton and i well really just really just seb and i uh, well really I guess just kind of me. I don't know. We all kind of wanted this YouTube channel together So we pursued doing that finally before this time. We actually had a twitch account, but that's not that's not important It's kind of lost history. You don't need to know about it. So I started learning editing. I failed. I learned I fucked up a lot But we made some videos and we'll call that era one it's that experimental phase. Out of this came a lot of trial and error, just testing to see if I could edit something coherently. And that's why there's shit like the president addresses the problem of anime and that infamous right. Sam video. But in between a lot of that, there were these tests of like series, that being Oblivion with our character named after the titular Sam, which by the way, was our first real hater. Uh, rightfully so. Saints Row 2, which had the Sharon character. And then we tried a series of a game called One Shot, and then my personal favorite concept we ever did, not video, but concept, was making my own shitty Mario 64 mod. Uh, this video was actually the first appearance of Anson. Uh, previously it was just Seb and I, like I said. There were references to Anson's existence, which seems to be a recurring bit in everything that I make. All of this kind of ended October of 2017 with the scariest game in the world, Bloodwood Reload, and we wouldn't really reappear until 2019. That's because uh, the Bloodwood video didn't do that well, and it wasn't really that great. But I mean, it was—I mean, it has moments. It's—you don't really need to watch it. This early era of the channel, I have very fond memories of. I'd come home from school and try to edit, and then I'd upload something, and then I'd show it to my high school friend Din, and. There would be month-long breaks for sure, but none of us were really committed yet, and I was the only editor, so I mean, we were just trying to make some time to hang out, to be honest. Also, this was pre-Discord, 
a lot of this. When Discord did exist, there was no screen share. So for a lot of this, it, it, we were just in a Skype call. Seven Anson would just like watch the game through a grainy Skype call with no audio. So it was archaic and bad and honestly probably terrible on their end, but to me it was fun. Yeah, I make the Bloodwood Reload video and we disappear for a year doing high school stuff. Still with plans of doing videos, but we just never really pursued them anymore. Highlights of that time though, for sure. Saints Row 2 video with Sharon. Uh, little campy, but honestly kind of holds up. Still pretty funny. January of 2019 comes around and finally a new upload. Revelations 2012. December 2019 rolls around. And we do the Christmas video. By the way, that was a joke. The Revelations video was not seen by anyone, probably because the thumbnail said, don't watch this. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. But during 2019, we shifted towards streaming on the RHR Streams uh, Twitch account. Uh, and that was awesome. I loved that. Uh, it was so much fun. And we did a lot of cool shit. And like I said, December came around and I wanted to edit again. So I made the Christmas video with Anson where I drove to Anson's house and I gave him Christmas presents. And the following year, 2020, I consider probably the golden era of that age. Just banger after banger. We made the Endless Forest video, which got way too many views to be honest. Part one and part two of the Copra, which were sequels to the Saints Row video that we made whenever we were kids and we still were kids but we were more kid then than we were, are now then 20 in 2020 two rust videos uh the last stand video being probably one of my favorite videos i've ever made period but notably there was sweet nancy and it was a roblox video on rhr shorts which was kind of a newer format that we were doing like see we used to do like 30 minute 20-ish minute videos uh, and they were like heavily edited and they were like mockumentary style. RHR Shorts was basically just that but now at seven minutes. It was the introduction of Din who was mentioned before to be my high school friend I showed these videos to. At this time we were thinking of making Din a member of the gang and I had introduced them all to each other a long time ago but this video kind of cemented a dynamic I think to me at least and then tragedy struck the RHR channel when Seb told us that Seb would be leaving to go to a different state. And so that's whenever I decided to take Din and Anson to Seb's house and they would all meet for the first time in years. And that was the first time Din and any of those people met face to face ever, I think, to be honest, like still to this day. And that's whenever we officially indoctrinated Din to the gang. Yeah. and. There was a few month long break afterwards and then December 2020 happens and I make what I think is probably to this day our best video ever, uh, the Minecraft episode. Everyone is in it at the same time, there's a lot going on, highlight of the era for sure. But I think everything here is genuinely kind of good. After that we experimented doing an ARG with highly underrated Flappy Bird series, which I think is kind of the downfall <laughs> era of the channel but it's still pretty decent and then that was kind of the end bye bye channel so what happened where is everyone now and are we ever uploading again let's break this down okay now i don't want to get too heavy on the top okay fuck i don't know if i can do this part now i don't want to get too heavy on this topic but directly after these videos were uploaded some very very bad things started happening in my life 2021 was hands down the worst year I have ever had being alive. I suffered daily with some really, really rough health issues that will affect me for the rest of my life. And it brought me to my lowest point and kind of saw no hope. And so I dropped out of college and quit my job and I was bedridden for months. It was a really dark place to be in, and I just didn't want to make videos anymore. So I didn't, and we didn't. In fact, uh, we rarely even contacted each other during that time. And I don't think any of us have really ever discussed any of the stuff that happened in 2021. And I'm not saying I'm like the only person that went through things during this time. I'm just saying, I'm just speaking from my personal experiences. But that's the reason why there was no uploads, like, at all for the rest of the year. And I don't think really any of us have 
or at least I maybe haven't processed that. What the fuck is going on outside? Either way, you gotta move on eventually. But I started working on myself more and I moved out and I got a new job. I found myself streaming again, like nine months ago, uh, for a pretty short time, uh, but it was on my personal channel, uh, the Trout Mac uh, Twitch channel. And I played Sonic Adventure all the way through in front of people. Uh, and I consider that honestly one of the happiest moments in my life because it was kind of just a weird lifelong dream I've had of <laughs> playing a game um, in front of people uh, and finishing it. I don't know. It was personally kind of rewarding to me. And so I had Anson edit and upload the VODs onto my Trout Mac YouTube channel. So after I finished basically streaming for a short time, I went back to wanting to edit. And so I recorded and uploaded a Sonic Adventure after party, which is where I just basically just raised chow. And then I started to make kind of my magnum opus project uh, with Din. Uh, another Skyrim Let's Play, which even features Anson on an episode, so, I, I, um, so yeah, that's, that's still ongoing. Uh, Maybe I'll even upload a highlights video of go. the best moments. That's kind of just what my life's been like in terms of videos, I guess. So where are they now? Din and I play games all the time, and we want to keep recording us playing games. Anson has a crippling league addiction now, and also a job, but we still sometimes find the time to play with Anson and talk to Anson as much of a detriment as that is. And Seb, uh, we still talk to Seb, even though time zones and stuff like that don't really, uh, stuff doesn't really line up <laughs> as well as it used to. Seb's been doing good. Seb's got his own Twitch channel, Silva Sada, uh, where he streams, I don't know, fucking Overwatch 2 or some shit. I don't fucking know what he's playing. It's a Twitch channel where Seb plays, I don't know, fucking Valorant or just gun games. I don't know, but he's doing well. But I think we all agree nothing really beats that initial dream that we all had and i think i speak for all of us when i say we want to upload here again and make it work and will it work maybe not but there is that maybe so what's this channel now well i still want to do long form like mockumentary style videos that we used to do back in 2020 but maybe less of them throughout the year i used to do them every month but that kind of was a lot, even for the time. I don't want to pressure ourselves too much. Also, I personally think it'd be fun to do Let's Plays on the channel. Uh, like the Sonic Adventure one, or maybe the Skyrim one, where it's more heavily edited. I don't know. That kind of is going to take some trial and error, see how it goes. So, I'll bring most of those over after Skyrim Season 1 concludes. I also want to do more videos sitting in front of a camera with some cutaway edits talking about stuff. I want to call this series Brain Rot. And I'll feel out the idea and upload a video under that moniker eventually. Almost all of these projects will in some way include Anson, Seb, and Din. In terms of what they'll do on the channel is to be seen, but there are ideas. Anson and Seb have both displayed editing desires. Anson edited my Sonic Adventure series, kind of, so it's likely we might see some more stuff from Anson. There's talks of Pokemon Nuzlocke series that I'll co-host with Anson, maybe. And at the end of the year, we want to try to do like a WWE wrestling tournament thing which was kind of always the original goal of this channel actually like ever since middle school uh though there may not be one this year because it's october so it's kind of the end of the year and we want to do them a pretty specific way what i want ideally is for this channel to be the everything channel like this is the channel that has all of our little projects and big projects and it doesn't have to be games and we want to re-establish a community that's open to anything that wants to hear from all of us we encourage discussion about what you want to see from us consider us being in a brand new experimental era maybe one that's more exciting and potentially revolutionary for us and better more healthy maybe even i even paid a guy on fiverr to redesign our logo that's how serious i am i used fiverr in 2022 if that doesn't tell you i'm serious buddy I don't even know if you're serious. I will say though, we have a lot less time on our hands than probably ever before now that we all kind of have jobs, but we want to make it work no matter what, at least for a year. So bear with us 
while we try some stuff out. The next few videos you see from this channel might be a little bit of catching up and filler, but once we're past that, uh, we'll see where we're headed. Red headed. Rage. I don't know about the channel name. It, it fucking, maybe we should just stick to the origin. I don't fucking know. I'll see you later. Uh, give us time to figure some stuff out. That's, that's it. That's the state of the channel in 2022. In summary, just be patient. Just be fucking patient, bitch. There we go. Was that good?